November 2013 is the 50th anniversary of the JFK assassination. November 22nd, 1963, I remember it well. This is something that happened to the President of the United States, who was beloved at the time. The idea of working on an exhibition project to, to explain Spector's role in the JFK assassination, his role in the Warren Commission, was just a really interesting project right from the get-go. Spector's work on the Warren Commission was such an important aspect of his whole career, something he lived with. Three different types of students, three different types of professors, three different disciplines. Argument, discussion, debate, but at, at the end, it's, it's a energizing, fascinating experience to meld all these different disciplines. In this case, the evidence was very um, vague in many ways, so Zabruder's film became the centerpiece of the evidence. Three bullets. First bullet missed. The third bullet we all know about hits Kennedy in the head. So what happens to the second bullet? This shot, the middle shot, um, it would be the shot that went through his neck in the back of the uh, governor, through his wrist and into his leg. We kind of showed that going through the, the logo instead of just being in front and like crosses the middle path. Once the mark became really strong, it kind of showed itself everywhere. It kind of made its way onto every document that we used and was kind of the unifying symbol of the whole exhibit. Uh, when you visit the exhibit, you're able to sit in the seat and experience, uh, experience what Kennedy was feeling, what he was seeing, and the angles that the different shots that came in at. just chilling. Wow. Oh. Brilliant work. Brilliant. That experience of being in that spot, experiencing what it was that they saw through the sights at this exact moment in time that everybody in one way or another remember. So once the subject of building the car came, I was thinking about different ideas, how to put it together and make it more abstract, make it more literal. We were designing the actual layout of the rooms along with the way that people interact with all all the things that we're producing. Essentially what we did was we studied the facades of all the buildings surrounding uh, the plaza. Here you have the, the motorcade. Um, the black road actually represents the path that JFK's vehicle took. So one could then imagine what if we were in the place of Zabruder himself. So part of the exhibit explores what it must have been like for a Zabruder. We wanted to have some kind of outline or cutout of Zabruder. So when you walk up to it you can look through the camera and see someone sitting in the limousine as well as uh, look through him and see the footage being played that he filmed. Everyone has their own opinion, everyone likes certain things. You try out a few opinions and then you build off that and see what looks the best. Law and society, graphic design and architecture, students from all those different disciplines could learn from each other and work together to produce something that we're all very proud of and we know was not just the end result, but the process and the teaching that went on. The exhibit has more standard kinds of components, which are displays and more kind of diorama type components. But the notion of sitting in this car and seeing the camera views of yourself in the car um, were very emotional for many people. You know, from zero to something really wonderful by the end of the semester within a 15-week time frame. They did a great, great job, very much team-based. And that's a lot about what they're going to face out there in the real world.